And here we are. We have arrived. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Don't worry, guys. It's just me. Your hero. Your knight in sheening armor. And there's no one here. Perfect. Just the way I like it. Just the way uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. I had a reaction go up today. It's the last chameleons. <clears throat> As 27 views. Finally, I've made it big. People watch what they want to watch. And they don't watch the other stuff. It's simply that way. Well, I don't know. I'll probably just go ahead and get started. Why wait? Why even wait? There we go. Alright. Shift W is wide blur. Shift Q is normal blur. Decent. I'm actually going to increase that blur again because I think I went a little too low. Let's go at 10. Let's do, let's do 10. I'm going to do 10. 10 seems good. And Alt W is normal wide. Okay, cool. Uh, I need to have this open for timestamps. Okay. Mm. All right. <clears throat> I need the the music. You helped me make the music of the night. That's a little too loud, isn't it? Let's have that hover around minus 45. Why don't we? All right, cool. Do I have ducking on? I do. Okay. One viewer. Let's get caught up to Berserk today, everybody. This should be interesting. We're on the final two volumes that have been published in English. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay. We're in the we're in the dream world. Ooh. Whom is this? Whom is this broad? Oh, that looks cool. That looks real cool. Danan. Oh yeah, Danan. She can perform the Corridor of Dreams ritual. Guts party. Reach Elf Island and have an audience with the Flower Storm Monarch. Actually, this music is a little too loud even for me. Probably around there. All right. Who is said to have a way of restoring minds. Shirk and Farnis are selected for their for their ritual, and they make their way through the corridor of dreams and down into a world deep within Casca's psyche. But this turns out to be a wasteland dimly lit by a black sun. Shirk and Farnis fend off monsters that attack as they gather mem uh, fragments of Casca's memories, all the while guided toward their miasma enshrouded final destination. Cool. All right. And so, we begin. Forest of Corpses and Thorned Cedars. Um, hoping to get through all of Volume 40 in the first sit-down. Um, I think it's possible. I think we can do it today. Let's see here. All right. We begin. 
This is horrifying. A forest of corpses and thorn cedars. It's the name of the chapter. I would faint right now were I unaware that this is a dream. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that there's no nips, but I mean it's that's the eclipse thing, so I should probably be careful. Sure enough, the petals are leading us to the summit of that mountain. Let us proceed. Be careful. Our earthly bodies might be affected if we're injured in this dream. Right. Thank you, Guts. Still, what a gruesome sight this is. I really love all this imagery, to be honest. What one must... What one ex, must... What must one experience for such a thing to... Indeed, an event traumatic enough to leave such an impression would be enough to break someone's mind. If you're scared, you'd best go back to the casket. If things get dangerous, pull your head down inside. I love how, like, high concept this whole thing is. Oh! I'm not going to show this uh, for obvious reasons, but this is terrifying and funny all at the same time. Oh, these evoke an even stronger visual, first visceral re revulsion. Yikes, man. Uh-oh. Hold on. Do I, do I, am I? Okay, there we go. Lady of the Depths, fight the penis. Fight for us, Gollum. Okay, all the spirits are fighting the little mouth penises. We're outnumbered. The Gollum can't hold them off all alone. I like how conceptual this is. They're, they're, they're being... And it also, like... They vaguely look like, um, like Griffith's, um, like, design a little bit later on, too. Like, they evoke the same kind of design a little bit. Mistress, they're behind us as well. At this rate, we'll be sur uh, surrounded. To get through this, we need... What's this bundle? A tree root? Oh, it's the... Emerge at once in accordance with our pact. Rotting root lord. I could probably be showing this, but I'm going to play it safe. Now, Wheel of Flame, clear a path. Now's our chance. Oh, wow. Tons of things going on here. Um, I'm still not going to show this because it, it is kind of phallic, but we can go double wide here. Got some Cthulhu's in the back. All good stuff. Well, we will make the foot of the mountain once we clear this field of entrails. Keep going a little farther. It's like Labyrinth. With the thorn cedars growing that close together, large monsters shouldn't be able to follow us. See, now these are just really buff dicks. <laughs> They have, they have penis hands. We've been noticed. This isn't good. I have no fetishes left on hand. I'm fresh out. We'll just have to outrun them. It's no use. They're catching up. Don't you hate having to be careful? Hi, Sidar. Sidar. Good to see you again. Sad that this will be the last stream for a little while. Um, I don't know whether or not I should do like another stream when 42 comes out and just do that by itself because it'll be kind of a short stream, but I don't know. Bittersweet, but I'm excited to like dive into the lore and like figure things out and kind of retrace my steps a little bit. Swift is heaven's vengeance. Man, these all look like penises. Everything looks like a penis. He's shooting chains out of his mouth. God press. Farnese, what is that? It seems I brought it with me from my dream. Oh yeah, it's like it looked like Mosgus. Now, time to climb. Uh, I can show this. The branches are stretching. Oh no, they'll block the path. Everyone hurry. The farther we advance, the more hostile the world grows. I can only imagine what the end of this is going to look like. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, kind of. But, I don't know. It's you guys who have to miss out, not me. I'm still seeing it normally. It's as if the dreamer is trying to obstruct us from to keep from waking up. We made it through. Looks so cool. 
that's the final fragment. Yeah, I like all the like noise on the image. That's cool. Berserk. Main culprits. I think the main culprit was Griffith, to be honest. And maybe the fact that we're all evil people made this happen. That's the final fragment. Just a little farther. You can do it. Whoa. It's the Hawk of Darkness. Dun, dun, dun. I love someone's, like, mind being represented in such, like, surreal stream of consciousness imagery like this. What is that? The guardian of the final fragment, the mightiest, the king of the monsters in this dream. Guts? Oh, yeah, Guts is mad about it. It's circling back towards us. My fetishes are back. Gollum, defend us from this attack. This is cool. What a monster. Totally ripped through the Gollum. Look at that. The miasma it spread. It's assuming some kind of shape. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to show this. It's probably okay, but... So are these meant to represent the apostles? I saw this before in Guts' memory. She's cold, the way she's afraid. It isn't normal. So it's like the, the hawk is like creating these apostles in her mind. They're most likely the culprits responsible. The main culprits for shattering Casca's psyche. The embodiments of fear itself. Um, can I show this? Yeah, I think so. Uh, all my fetishes come to our aid. We must break through here and reach the fragment. Okay. Um. Whoops, no. I want this turned off. There we go. It's that bird again from this, from the side this time. Guts in the casket. If they're dropped from that height, uh-oh. If only I had some fetish to control the wind. The wind! This could work. Get going, Serpico. Huh. My, my, you are a slave driver, Lady Farnese. The Sylph Hood. I suppose it was amongst the laundry. Hmm. It means to attack again. I'm overloaded. The art is so good. Guts, this isn't good. The miasma freshly spread around the casket is... Just how much havoc? Uh, I know, right? I know. It's no use. We can't approach like this. Huh? Huh? Oh, the dog is going berserk. Berserk wolf. Look at this. That's the berserker. So Casca even like recognizes it as part of like reality. She's more aware than you realize. The final fragment. The last one, I promise. I'm thankful that these aren't super dialogue heavy. Hopefully we can get through this at a decent clip. Is that a sword? I have no idea what I'm looking at here. <laughs> I see the dragon slayer up there, kinda. Yeah, does he, he has the sword. Wow. The proverbial sword. There's no doubt that's the berserker armor. Its guts turned into a berserker. Let's 
take this opportunity to retrieve the casket while the enemy is under assault by Guts. Otherwise, he's liable to demolish it himself. It's that bird again. It's going after Guts. Oh, he got the gun. Guts has got a gun. Some cool stuff, man. Hang in there, golems. Serpico, lift up the casket. Be reasonable. There's no end to the monster spawning from that bird's miasma. More and more keep coming. They've done all they can do. Here they come. We're out of protective measures. One yet remains within the memories you've cherished all along. Oh, Grandma Witch. Mistress. Whoa. This is kind of like a... Like it's not a full wide, is it? I guess it is. Um, Didn't I say we can meet again in dreams? You've done well to come this far, Shirk. As your teacher, I'm very proud. Now I must bestow a blessing upon my dear student. A vision of me naked. Nice. She's so strong. Now go to the fragment. Yes, mistress. It's kind of cool. Like the memory of her kind of like beat out the memory of the apostles in a way. We made it. E good defeats evil. Yes, somehow. But now it's out of reach. What do we do? Please leave that to me. Beneath the casket. Oh my gosh. You spawned it. <laughs> How useful. Now at long last. So this is... Oh my. Yeah, that was a that was a bit of a problem, was it not? Awakening. Awakening. That's the last fragment, a monster, but it's just like a baby. I don't know why the final fragment has this form. But be prepared, huh? Before, when I was nearly pulled into the Berserker armor, I caught a glimpse. In this world, evil prevails? We will see. We don't know how it's all going to end, man. Of Gus's memories, I'd just as soon never witness them again. What are we about to see is most likely that mad feast. Keep your mind well guarded. Oh no. Oh no. I can't show this, but it looks really good. It's, it's a little disturbing for sure, but. Uh. Are there boobs? <laughs> I can't see. I think it's all right. I think it's okay. This is what broke Casca, the main cause. This imagery is great, dude. Oh, and like all of the like people mixed in there. Wow. Fantastic. You mustn't be overwhelmed. Don't lose sight of yourself. It comes flowing in. Casca scream, an articulate, a mind torn asunder. Wow. I can't show this, but, uh... Crazy. The heart. The final fragment is a heart. And if we return this to the doll in the casket, just a moment, eh? Something wrong? 
The form it's in, chances are it carries an anathema. Anathema, a curse. What could this mean? Something horrible will happen if we return it to the doll? Well, I was careless. Me, of all people. I was so preoccupied with restoring Casca's sanity, I failed to consider it. An experience so terrifying, if Costco were to retain both her memory and her sanity, it would mean unimaginable agony for her. Instead, it pushed her beyond her breaking point. There's no guarantee your wish will be her wish. This is what he meant. Oh no! Guts. Insane, dude. If 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 we miss this chance, we won't have another. But you're afraid, aren't you? Even when you know how helpless you are in the dark, there are when times when you cower, unable to move. There's nothing you can do on your own. That's why, like he then did for me this time, for my own reasons, I'm going to drive away your darkness. Bernice. Because I don't want to look back on those days I traveled with Casca and you, Mistress, and everyone else as meaningless. So you're just going to be like, I need some meaning, let's, let's make a plot point happen? <laughs> yes, true, the Corridor of Dreams, our whole journey, rather, has been about this from the start. It's called the sunk cost fallacy, ladies. Now hurry, then this nightmare will be over. Can't show that because there's a little bit nip. It's really cool though. Like the foot is gone in the next panel. There she is, she's made whole. She opens up the brand. I'm sure you'll get to see him. Oops. Well, there's something very, like, uplifting, sort of, about this. Like, this is kind of a surreal moment. Ooh. On the sun dappled ground, huh? It's happened. Wow. She just like starts screaming at the top of her lungs. Welcome back, Ivalera. Welcome back, everyone. You did well on your journey. It has been a mere day for us, but it must have been harsh months, perhaps years, in the dream. Miss Casca, I remember each of you. That girl, Elaine, everything she saw and felt now rests within me. Huh? It's good to meet you, Farnese, Shirk, Ivalera. Thank you for taking care of me as Elaine for so long. Wait a second. Oh, I get it, because that was her old name. Miss Casca, she spoke. Just call me Casca. And I'd like to just call you Farnese, Shirk, and Ivalera. Well, I guess. Sure, I don't mind. How do you do, Casca? This is the true Casca. The strength and color of her odd are completely different now. This is fantastic, man. The Casca who traveled with us and Gus's companion, the Casca who likely, was likely a warrior, are two different people. Uh, Casca, ma'am, what is the current state of your memory? It's a strange feeling, like I just woke up, woke from a long, deep sleep. I was dreaming through the girl Elaine of her journey with you all. I had no thoughts or feelings. I was just watching vaguely from a distant darkness. You being present in front of me, 
it's as if the inhabit uh, you being present in front of me it's as if uh, the inhabitants of a dream appeared in reality one being a witch with an elf in tow and these surroundings suggest this is still a dream it's real or we are at least but then what happened when I fell asleep is so muddled I can clearly remember setting out to rescue Griffith past that nothing it's like I'm still half asleep don't push yourself or call it slowly you just woke up after all <laughs> yeah I don't I don't know man I don't know um, guts? Do you remember guts? Uh oh. Hey, big trouble, Shirk. Looks like we went and woke up the final boss. Ignore her at your peril, girl. Are you done saying hello, elf ruler? Danan. And now at the end of your journey, you go to reunite with one who is dear. This is my small gift to you because that dull traveling getup isn't especially romantic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's lovely. Um, I'm a soldier. Dresses and me looks, uh, looks good on you. I insist. You're beautiful, like a dark elf princess. Excuse me? Now be on your way. I just notified the swordsman using tele telepathy. He should arrive at the big cherry tree shortly. Uh, I don't think I'm going to show this. There's, there's like boob mounds from his, from the gut sex. <laughs> Sounds so gross. So she's like remembering all these things about guts. Uh, with each step I take, I recall them vividly. Those sad beloved days, the evidence that I am me, Casca. Yeah, so she's remembering all the like Band of the Hawk stuff, but she's not, she's not pulling in the bad things yet. Good luck, you're in the final stretch. Thanks, Jim Beer. In the days when I was Elaine... Can I show this? Um, yeah, I can show this. In the days when I was Elaine, unable to think or feel, looking up from below the water's surface, yet deep within me there was a faint voice. There's someone I want to see. Wow. Wow. What a what an earned moment too. Like we've we've been through so much. Okay. Hmm. So her seeing Guts again is what made her remember the Eclipse. And so now she's going to associate that. Oh no. What a great panel. <laughs> All right. Jotun, what does this mean? Two more left. We're, we're on a, like a really good pace. There's probably going to be more dialogue now, so it'll probably slow down a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> it would not be Berserk style. That's right. This is a horrifying image. Can I show this? I think so. Two sets of monsters are fighting now? Where are we? Aha. Uh -huh. Boob check. Boob check, hello. Boobs? Boobs on any monsters? <laughs> no? We good? Griffith. Go forward. Boob check on aisle 12. Uh, I think we're alright. So is he basically like purging the land of all of these monsters that have appeared? Is that what's going on? 
See, this is okay to show on, on YouTube, but heaven forbid a nipple appears. Someone might masturbate to it. Yeah, I'm not showing that. We got back boobs. Back boobs. Don't slow down, Sir Mule. If they catch you, you're finished. They'll pluck your head off. I realize that, Sir Laban. Who'd ever allow these man-eating savages to... Whoa. Honestly, Mule has such close calls. Lord Griffith, the heart of the enemy's will is east of the battlefield atop a hill. A path has already been cleared. But be careful. An enormous shadow lurks in the grove behind the hill. Man. That's a hydra. White Hawk spreads freaking margarine on toast is what he does. Do they make margarine anymore? Crazy carnage. Oh, and then we got this guy. This guy's cool. The bow with the horns is such a cool design. I will ask anyone who's watching, have the chapters that have been published after what I'm going to cover today, the non-Kento chapters, are they good? I mean, people say the art isn't as good, but like, is the story still on track and everything's plugging along? So, so majestic. The horse is flying. All right. Triumphant return at dawn. After this one, we're on intermission already. That's kind of crazy. I've slain the king of the Jotnar. Seems good, but too early to say. All right. Fair enough. Sonia, convey what I'm seeing to all on the battlefield. It's probably going to, I assume, they're just going to kind of try to, like, close it out without adding too much extra fluff to the sides. Which would be nice. I mean, like, we've come so far that I'd like to see just, you know, the end happen. Understood. Sir Laban, looks like our leader has settled things personally. General, victory is ours. All forces, finish off the enemy. Um. Boobs. I don't see any. I see man boobs. I guess it's okay. I guess this is fine. Well, I mean, it's not fine. Things are looking kind of bad, but, you know. It's been worse, honestly. <laughs> Let us return together to the city where your loved ones await. It's a soothing sight no matter how many times I see it. To be able to return to those we love no matter what. Yes, how true indeed. There's no better news for us as soldiers. But that doesn't mean it's okay to chase glory and expose precious young lives to danger. Why are they talking like NPCs? I know that. But for now, those monsters that pose a threat to the eastern highway region have been wiped out. It isn't much, but we have finally recaptured some territory. Indeed. Basically, yes, he is. That slash god mode. Uh, but acquiring territory and maintaining it are not the same. Even if we settle, 
and farm this land, monsters might return and attack. A few troops stationed here couldn't contend with that. The war demons are powerful, but their numbers are limited. Well, that's true, but... Lord Griffith. It's there, up on the hill over there. Good work, Sonia. What is it you found? A literal touchstone for solving a problem. Hmm? This seems to be an ancient ruin, but... Grunbeld. Can you replace these as they once were? With ease. Grunbeld? <laughs> That's the name of this, like, crystal snake dragon? Tremendous. I bet he could build an entire fortress by himself. Although, he himself is something of a stronghold. But at some point, we took this site for granted. I can't think of a more reliable comrade with whom to risk my life. To be honest, though, it's still a bit terrifying. Along these lines. It's a corridor of stone pillars? Lord Griffith, yes, looks like we can use this. Huh. Notify all forces. Prepare for a dawn arrive withdrawal. Gather in two columns at the base of this hill. Furthermore, war demons are to revert to human form and put on their equipment. True, they, they get stuck in that form. All forces, forward. Be sure not to lose sight of the one in front of you. At the end of the album. No, it's not. It is not. When spe why specifically between the pillars? Could it be some victory ceremony or something? I don't know. Hey, you two, don't look away or you'll get lost. Lost? What do you... Whoa. They're twisting. Sir Laban, what? I vaguely remember that. Was that a long, long time ago? Like way early on in the book? Or the series? What is this? Are we riding through the sky? The world twin tree. Oh. We are now galloping through the branches of the world twin tree. Huh. What did they like? Is it like a fast travel thing? Unbelievable. Have we returned to Falconia? This isn't a dream. We rode through the sky, and in the blink of an eye. After subduing the Jotnar, the hawk performs yet another miracle. The hawk of light has created a new legend. He's a nice guy for an apostle. <laughs> we were witness to it. No, the band of the hawk accomplished this great feat with him. Of course. I've grown accustomed to the bazaar since the Kashan invasion, but never did I envision the day I'd ride through the sky. If it means that you ally with him, there'll be no lack of surprises awaiting you. That it does. Oh, please, how can you say that now? Being with Lord Griffith means having a part in a legend. Agreed, that's true. Uh, but a sky path? That's amazing! <laughs> it's like, still talking about it? We can dispatch troops from the capital anywhere in an instant. Or even evacuate in the other direction. We will be a military. It will be a military? No, a logistical breakthrough. Sorry, but it won't work out that simply. The only ones who can come and go on the branches without getting lost are Lord Griffith and myself. Is that so? Yes, it's so, unless you have a, yeah, unless you have special perception like we do. Hmm. You'll get lost in the countless forking branches and end up someplace unexpected. Really mess up. And you might... Uh, really mess up and you might wander out to see you're deep into the earth. Fascinating. Even so, a march is possible with me in the lead. If we set up the ruins buried here and there, it'll prove quite useful for future military movements. Of course, that will mean relying on my medium's powers heavily. Leave it to me. I'd race to the ends of, earth, of the earth if you called. But for now, a triumphant return with the morning sun. All right. That is it um, for this one. Let me go ahead and head over here. Pause this, bring this back. Intermission is now. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely like a little bit early. Um, probably we'll finish this before two hours, but we'll see. Uh, let me go ahead and load up the next one. Yeah, so uh, there is, uh, let me look up Berserk. Uh, just Berserk. Medium of the Messiah is very pleased, apparently. Um, whoops, no, 
look at the published volumes here. So there have been 42 published. Um, and we're still waiting on 42 to be in English. And it takes them about a year, it looks like basically like exactly one year later is when they release the English version. Okay. Interesting. So September of this year, we'll probably be expecting 42 in English. Gotcha. Gotcha. As far as like official things go. Anyway, uh, I will be right back. Um, five, 10 minutes, and then we will continue forward. So be back in a bit. Thank you. 
and we're back. Oh, one viewer went from four to one because I was on break. Oh, no. It'll be okay. Needn't worry. Let me loop this video. I'm so glad that YouTube has just implemented the loop function in the right click. When did they do that? Oh, it's like too little too late, buddy. Okay, so this, this should be something else, man. Just in case, let's do a little bit of, a little bit of censorship, because that's what we like here on the internet, isn't it? Also, this is a different provider from the previous volumes that I have, so it might look, looks a little different, maybe. That's pretty similar. Okay. Gets his party reached their destination of Elf Island, hoping to restore Casca's mind. By way of the ritual, use of the Flower Storm Monarch's Danan's Quarter of Dreams, Shirk and Farnese dive into a world deep within Casca's psyche and finally awaken her from her long nightmare. Then, when the time for the reunion comes, the sight of guts makes Casca cry out in repulsion. Yeah, man. Beats his objects like women, man. Um, sorry. The dawn of an empire. The dawn of an umpire. He's here. Here's the umpire. Here is my military report. The Band of the Hawks Lancers have nearly exterminated the ogres, trolls, and other legendary beasts of the plains on the plains west of Falconia. Furthermore, the forest and river regions remain untouched and will likely require constant vigilance. The mines to the north are infested with goblins, which must be, de must be de dealt with swiftly. Um, remembering, regarding the Jotnar in the east, previously our biggest threat, as I'm sure each of you is already aware, we killed that sucker. He dead, son. They were wiped out by the new royal army, with our own band of the hawk at its core. Oh, Charlotte. Magnificent. The means... This means the recovery of our domain has finally begun. This victory is no more than the first act in the arduous struggle to come. I knew we were getting into the dialogue stuff, man. Look at this. War meetings and all that. Please understand the recovery of our domain... Um, and the reclamation of human living space are one and the same. Certainly, none of us object. On the next pending item, uh, onto the next pending item, head of the Castle Guard Military Police, Sir Owen, if you would report on the status of capital security. The citizens of Old Wyndham, the first settlers, established neighborhoods based largely on their trade guilds from the old capital, where peace and quiet are the norm. Meanwhile, in the neighborhoods of immigrants from various other regions, wages for many are low, and crime is noticeably on the rise. So, I could see there being like this moral, moral quandary down the road, where, like, the, G Griffith's main sin was the sacrifice that he made during the eclipse. But, like, he seems to be, like, a pretty upstanding guy in control of Falconia. Like, I don't know. I haven't seen him do anything, like, remarkably awful yet. And so, like, as this plays out, and he, like, basically is, like, creating a kind of utopia on Earth, um, maybe, uh, like killing him it's like but he's doing such a good job of like ruling the earth and like being good for everybody and guts is like no he did killing and raping you know what i mean i don't know if that's actually what's going to be happening but uh i can see that being like a i just did one thing i only wanted one one i did one thing <laughs> i did one thing 
Um, in addition to public disorder becoming more apparent in the temporary refugee district, there are many heretical sects even amongst the Holy See's adherents. If neglected, these tensions could erupt. We can't... Oh, it's, 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 socialism doesn't work. Oh, no. We can't afford a... Her, no, I'm joking. We can't afford a her, heretic conflict within the capital during these troubled times. Guts doesn't care. Guts does not care. No. Um, but I could see, like society kind of turning on guts because of that you know what i mean like he's exiled and it's like oh that's the guy who killed griffith griffith was awesome you know what i mean not that that he even cares necessarily about that either but at this point even the kashan are far more reliable with so many different pe uh people so many people from different backgrounds suddenly gathered in one place of course there would be friction but seeing the hawk sir griffith like that if they could even once see the soul uh, ascension ceremony for themselves, they should realize that slight differences in the interpretation of doctrine are insignificant. Yeah, it doesn't really work that way, man. Certainly, we cannot deny said ritual helps alleviate the people's discontent, truly seeing is believing. But we cannot afford to continue neglecting the decline of the city's public order. Are there any immediate countermeasures besides increasing military police presence? As if he could kill him. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. It will mean adding to the military's burden once again. But what choice is there? The particulars can wait. Next, we have a relief measure for orphans by the state. A proposal to establish an orphanage. What's this? The, that, that one is mine. Your Royal Highness. <laughs> we, your subjects, all respect your benevolence when it comes to children. It is most fitting for the future mother of our kingdom. But as your humble servant and treasurer, I must say the government does not currently have such funds. <laughs> Due to our recent war with the Kashan, our domestic economy fell into a depression, and we couldn't recover before the emergence of these current hard hardships. We simply cannot afford it. Oh, I see. Should do it. I knew he was going to say that. But Sir Griffith, the costs involved. Why not allocate a portion of the loot taken from the giants? But things have an order of priority. The budget must be carefully allocated to cope with current problems. Coping is not enough. That is a slow path to ruin. In order to survive, the only path forward is to prosper. Orphans alone aren't enough. The government should play a part in the education of all children until age eight. Well, that's a dicey thing to say right there. <laughs> this would include, I mean, it's the truth. This would include cultivating, well, it's not the truth, but it is in reality, you know? Who makes the calls here? Griffith does. This would include cultivating a sense, national sense of belonging, solidarity, and morality, in addition to teaching, reading, writing, and a range of other subjects. That sounds like utter nonsense. Though they are but children, their labor is indispensable to their parents. It's only, uh, if it's only half the day and we provide a daily meal, that should be a boon for the needy masses. But to educate the people, wouldn't that be dangerous? If commoners grow arrogant, we could very well descend into mob rule and cracks might form in the class system. Worst case, if it were to, like, so, like, there's no school right now? There's no school happening at all? No one's learning anything? I don't know. Troubles at home and abroad are a chronic national disease. If we're going to have it, that's uh, if we're going to have that same illness, we should we should not just sit and buy and grow weak. We should advance towards glory, even if the path is painful. Uh oh. In five or ten years, if we're to survive and achieve prosperity in this new world, our current standing army of both mercenaries and soldiers serving under the peerage will never suffice. We're certain to need the power of the citizenry, a, lar a large-scale army of the people. Mm. And to fund this vastly expensive endeavor, the people must prosper by any means available. Construction, engineering, or, uh, agricultural, improvement, logistics, anyone with the potential to excel should study diligently in order to support the government that helped led us to prosperity. So educating the children becomes a major strategy toward achieving that goal. Griffith wants to teach children morality. Oh, I see. It reminds me of like some 20th century stuff, man. The people's strength is the nation's strength, true. Huh, but funding it. Shouldn't we dip into the treasury for this, even if it means bending some rules? 
But if all we do is spend, it will bleed the government dry. We will have to impose new taxes. And the economy is strained enough already. If we can recapture the northern silver and copper mines, we should not we should be able to mint, co uh, mint many coins. I have another suggestion, which ties in with the earlier matter of local public or, uh, order deteriorating. If we continue to isolate the refugees in one district, discrimination and persecution are sure to become the norm. We should act before that happens. If they seek relief from this kingdom, they must prove they are of greater benefit to it than its own citizens. We must instill in them the duty and afford them the opportunity to do so. Meaning what exactly? Why not incorporate the refugees into the army? Well, uh, as you mean as we've done with the Kashan. We have seen positive results from absorbing the Kashan. We partake of the same food and expose ourselves to the same threats. Those experiences create strong bonds, um, bonds amongst people. I'm sure they will take make. I'm sure they will make excellent soldiers. But if we hire more troops, it will uh, require still more funds. We will have them lay the foundation to generate those funds. In addition uh, to general military service, new recruits will be expected as uh, will be expected as combat engineers to build and maintain roads, and to construct strongholds and forts in recaptured territory. Huh. With those bases and roads as cornerstones, we will build towns, cities, a transportation network, a cultural sphere for all humanity. As a means of national defense, too, we will build grand walls along the expanding royal border with a cordon formed that Griffith's downfall is like he doesn't understand economics, and so he goes broke and <laughs> Falconia fails. Uh, I didn't know how to use money. Um... Uh, by the scattered bases rather than one large permanently stationed force. Using the roads to swiftly dispatch large-scale forces when the need arises should imp prove more efficient, and we can keep costs down during peacetime. Military service lasts 10 years. Those who serve their time can be granted citizenship for themselves and their families or reside wherever they wish in the kingdom. Aren't these terms a good arrangement for labor and reward? I see, yes, in that case... Other governments are currently at a standstill. Cities, towns, and villages everywhere are isolated and overrun by legendary beasts. Our Midland is probably the only functioning nation left on the continent. On the continent, huh? We're amidst a strange and menacing world that threatens to destroy us if we take one false step. But another way of looking at it, one could say, we've obtained a blank and boundless map. Who do we have to thank for the current state of the world? I know. Was this intentional? Like, him killing Ganishka? Is that right? Is that the... Did I get the name correct? Um, in his huge form, did he know that that would, like, create the world tree? Or was it just like, I'm gonna come in and slice up here, and now everything is a certain way that benefits me? Like, I don't understand how he did that. To survive, we will expand and invade. We cannot afford to hesitate to fill in that map. It is said that in ancient times, the renowned Emperor Gaiseric formed a great empire across the entire continent, with this land at its center. So let us show what we too can establish, humanity's realm, a second empire. A second empire. What a grand vision while our kingdom faces an existential threat. Everything he does is intentional. Hmm... Still, we, uh, we can't just stand here. We must scrape together the funds no matter what. I will check in with some prominent firms. I will ask the Holy See for support. It's a silver lining that loans to other countries were in effectively nullified. Hmm. Minister Foss? They used to do little but scheme to protect themselves in their own interest. Now they seem like whatever possessed them is gone. Well, in that context, I myself used to be their ringleader of sorts. Sir, a vision to lead a nation and its people. One must have a sublime vision. All of us are entranced by that man's dazzling vision. I swipe some dried meat from... Uh, come here. I swipe some dried meat from the kitchen. Oh, the council's ended. Hey, Lord Griffith. Lord Griffith. Princess Charlotte. Highness, it's improper to run, so you'll sl uh, run so you'll slip and fall. Back there, that is, I felt like I was intruding with my idea. No, it was a very worthwhile suggestion. If the kingdom can be a good to parent to orphans, the orphans are sure to support the kingdom once they're independent. 
You sure? A little long chapter, dude. I want to take the flowers in the garden gathered from all over the kingdom and plant them at the orphanage. So it can be a home, uh, so it can be a home sure to soothe the children after all their hardships. Mother of the kingdom, indeed. Like a mother looking after a home. Oh my. In that case, would that make his future royal majesty the father of the kingdom? The father of a weird little creepy baby fetus. Hey, stop that. Lord Griffith, um, do you have any plans after this? If you'd like, we could have tea together in my chambers. Gross. I would love to soothe your weariness from his, this last campaign. There's nothing on the military schedule for this afternoon. Please, spend the time at your leisure. I could do with some soothing, too. Quit it. They haven't spent time together in a, uh, in a while. Don't get in the way. Weren't you by Lord Griffith's side the entire campaign? Ah, hey, where to? I'm taking a long ride. Don't come with me. Yeah, as if. Oh, man. Guess I'm the only one who never gets a day off. Whoa. <laughs> I thought we would get away with it. But it was the meddling kids. Shoot. Things just... Uh, no, the things just got sexy out of nowhere, man. Is she on the floor? Sure enough, it's tonight then. Huh? What? Hold on, man. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna mute my mic. I'm gonna go get something. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have the entire world worshipping the ground you walk? No, I haven't, but... <laughs> I mean... That's the thing, is like... Curious to see, like, how successful he's gonna be with this stuff. And how it's gonna look to the world when... Guts and Costco are like, we're coming for your... Coming for your rear end. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, I had to get a Band-Aid. All right, barrier. What does barrier mean? Okay. She cut her hair. She looked great with long hair. Snippity snip there, is that about right? Uh, thank you, your majesty, for doing, for doing this personally. Um, don't you mind. I'm doing this because I enjoy it. It's fun to do a lady's hair this way, all lovely. It's a nice break from the usual housework, too. And you may call me Danan. This dress suited you quite well, so it's a bit of a shame, but I prepared some forest sentinel clothes that are easy to move in as you wished, and also a sword. Sure enough, this feels more right for me. This makes for a very different impression. I know, she's less attractive now. <laughs> I don't like short hair. Don't stare like that. It's embarrassing. Yeah, but it's such a total change. The Costco we knew was a little... Was like a bratty handful of a baby. I remember the days when, to rescue you, I had to play tag with heretics and Farney's bunch. Yes, it's faint, but I remember. You re really took good care of me back then, Isidro, Puck. Cut it out, it's ancient history. Those girls who took me in that holy ground, I wonder if they're still okay. I'd like to thank them if I ever see them again. I'm not sure how to apologize for that whole affair. No, it's not like that. I'm grateful, I'm especially grateful to you, Miss Farnese. Just Farnese is fine. Whenever I clung to you, I always felt a sense of relief. The way I did with my mothers and sisters when I was a child. But I think during the journey, 
you really were both a mother and older sister to me. But, but, how could I have been? I'm the one who's incapable of anything. A nice moment. A touching. Is it worth crying over? She's not used to praise. Don't spoil this. Thank you too, Miss Shirk. You saved me from so many crises. You know that word? I was simply doing my part. It was practically Farnese who did the looking after, the taking good care of you. So you seriously were a sword fighter, huh, Casca? And a woman at that. So how are your skills? We'll see. I think they're pretty rusty. The sword feels a tad heavy. And I have just the right training partner stored away. Come on out. These are armor and weapons I swiped from visitors uh, to the island long ago. What were they called? Ah, yes. Vikins? I magic them into golems. Thank you for everything, your mag Lady Danan. Their insides are filled with straw, so you can cut or stab them. Their weapons have been enchanted not to injure or kill. Then I'll take up your... Then I'll take you up on your kind offer and not hold back. She still got it. This is so refreshing to see. How skilled. Oh, wow. You mean she's that strong? She's the real thing. Her skills are better than mine. She's used to fighting armored opponents. You were great. Not bad, Casca. That blew me away. I'm sure surprised... I'm surprised too, honestly. Old habits must die hard. My body reacted automatically. Hey, be my training partner. Guts is strong, but he's so huge. It makes it hard to picture an opponent with a normal-sized body. It'd be no problem with you. That's fine by me. Thanks, big sis Casca. Yeah, but with wooden swords because my accuracy's down. Let's do this. Come, let us go to our training as well. Yes, let's. Um, Far Serpico, stay and assist Casca with her training. Hmm. She's fully in a mage mindset. Uh, are you sure you won't speak to her? Not yet. If she's doing well with the rest of you, that'll do for now. He, he, he knows, he knows. From here, the problem is her own. True, very true. Will she face him, or will she wait for uh, for time and affinity to heal her? No matter how deep the wounds, Casca can now at least decide for herself. And she has both of you to think. Yes, but... I'll go and tell her after all. Farnese, I wonder if she burdened herself unnecessarily in the corridor of dreams. I was the one. It was me who put your heart in when you were afraid. I said I was sure you'd you'd see him as I uh, you'd see him as I watched you go. However, guts, just stay there and listen. Then again, what to talk about? You've got good companions, of course. I'm already aware of that. The things during our journey, it's like I was dreaming I was someone else. It's hazy. Cedra has really taken to you. It's hard to believe you took on an apprentice. It never seemed possible back in those days. The way he's contrary is a lot like you, although his teacher is a, was a little less approachable. But his smooth two-sword style, yes, it reminds me of judo. Ugh. Ugh, Kask. So it's like, she's, she, it's not like it all came back to her, but she's having flashes of it and she knows that it's bad, but she doesn't fully understand. She doesn't fully understand what it all means. Interesting. Ah. However, they still can't see one another. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Best 
character in the whole freaking series, dude. I love the Skeleton Knight, and I wish I knew more about him. All right. All right, it's been a little slow going. We need to pick up the pace here a little bit. Be calm. Drink that slowly. Thank you. I put another sh on another shameful display. Don't worry about it. You only just awoke from a long, long nightmare. For now, you mustn't push yourself. When I try to touch out, when I try to touch on the past, it's like I've suddenly been brought back to that place. I see it all over again. Casca, don't, or else you'll... His face, his voice, I can't handle it. A terrifying shadow gets in the way. Casca, it's all right. I just, uh, I just made her sleep. Now you two go, tr uh, go train. I'll keep an eye on her. I know you're concerned, but we all, all we can do right now is burn some incense and let her uh, sleep peacefully. Yes, but you have a task at hand, do you not? All right. She relies on you so much. Never. No such thing. Or I'm no such thing. Well, like a security blanket. I'm no such thing as a security blanket. Ah, uh, yes, for your rich mage life that's about to begin. Although it's one of my old things. Oh, here they are. Oh yeah, I forgot about these characters. This hat doesn't seem right for me. You'll get used to it. It looks quite good on you. Oh, look at her. She got the hair cut. Wait, has she always had short hair? I thought she got it like her hair cut. And now she's wearing this. But a beginner like me in this getup knitted from cherry blossoms? It's too elegant. I feel pressured. It's a boon from Danan. So you'll just have to accept it. There you are, newcomers. I apologize that we're late on our first day. It's all right. Danan filled me in on the situation. First, I want to know your true abilities, such as how much you've learned of spells and rituals. True abilities, you said? It hasn't been long since I started learning magic. You want me to show you spells? You don't have to keep taking off your hat. I still only know the formation of the four. Okay, demonstrate for me. Mistress, here you go. Do your best. Don't worry, the, your formation of the four really did fully protect everyone. I'll vouch for that. Ready? Okay, here goes. Hold on, she's not drawing a magic circle? Not knowing about magic circle, she's a novice, right? Huge, pretty, oh, look how vivid it is. Farnese, you say it hasn't been long since you took up magic, but how long has it actually been? Yes, sir, about three months, maybe. The formation of the four in three months? And as an adult, it usually takes a year. Wait, isn't it impossible for adults with no prior training to use magic? Well, it took me three years before I could do it. She found herself in, placed in unique circumstances. What is up with your companion? Lady Farnese, this is complicated. Good job, had me nervous. And now on to Shirk. Can I ask you to cast some spell? Yes, sir. Then I will summon a spirit. I will call a spirit of darkness from uh, that tree hollow. Oh, a spirit in a place like that? Do you sense it? No. And aren't dark spirits dangerous? A summoning with no magic circle. I am a nameless shadow, a hollow blackness. I shall grant the gombling girl's request in exchange for a bounty of the land. Wait, what? Years and years passed in that three months, apparently. Oh, my apple. It's dark, I can't see anything. Oh my gosh, so much dialogue, dude. She's pretty good. I'm sorry, are you alright? Hey Shirk, what's going on with you? A summoning summoning a spirit without even using a magic circle? And that was a dark spirit of darkness, yeah? What was such a dangerous thing doing in a place like that? I have made sure to have a corresponding link in my subconscious. Magic circles simply help you guide you in that. She's got combat experience. When we faced danger on our journey, there was no time to engrave detailed icons or runes, so I made do using this method. As for spells, I had to borrow with the power of whatever spirits were concealed in that place, so perhaps I've developed a knack for locating them. Danger is unavoidable with powerful spirits, but we've been rescued by them many times. I also once borrowed the power of a spirit of darkness, and so... But that little spirit is no dangerous being. It seems it's always watched with envy from that hollow as you've trained here. It would be happy if you offered it an apple or something, and maybe played tag with it. 
Oh, nicely done. Looks like you visitors will improve. It will prove to be a good motivation for this village's inhabitants so accustomed to peace. <clears throat> Everyone, learn well from this approach to magic that's been put to the test in the outside world. Yes, sir. Now I must offer you something in return. Uh, in that case, Great Guru, I have a request, such as, Would you mind teaching me healing magic, especially ways to heal the mind? Varnice. Mm-hmm. It is safe to say that the making of medicines is the original duty of mages. When it comes to healing the mind, I know just the person, right here, Danan. When it comes to that, I'll lend a helping hand. Let's work hard together, for Casca's sake, too. Now then, Shirk. Yes, sir. Would you be interested in commu uh, communing... In communing, not with the native nature spirits, but with the daemons of a deeper domain. Daemons? Wow, aren't you usually taught that when you become a full-fledged mage guru? Demons. You should accept, Shirk. Not all daemons are astral world beings. Some were once living humans, heroes, and even some who were magic users. My old friend who aided you in, sh in your shared dream is one of them. By all means, I gladly accept. All right, then. Once again, uh, welcome once again, Shirk. Thank you. You're really good. And you too for an outsider, an adult at that. Much obliged. Meanwhile. What am I supposed to do? What you see at the end of the journey. It isn't necessarily just a beautiful sight. The ravine. Okay, we got one, two, three, four chapters left. It's you. As we are led by causality. And you and your weighty way of talking. So how about it? Some great people become deities in the afterlife? Interesting. So how about it? A while back on that moonlit beach, you gave me that gracious warning. Looks like I didn't need it after all. As you can see, I made it to this island without losing any more pieces, although the trip was a little rough. That was luck. Thanks. But don't relax your guard. Causality has yet to converge. Hey, what's that supposed to... It's been a long time, your majesty. No, is Skull Knight along the lines of what you go by now? Majesty... I recall your face, your vid son. My name is Gedfring. When I was a child, my father brought me along for several audiences. Now I find myself in a governing role for the village. That clever youngster has come far in the world. I thank you. Hey, wait a minute. Just how old are you? That's questions meaningless for one, whose flow of time differs. Hmm. Sorry. I see you and the Sir Knight are already acquainted. Yeah, like it or not, he's sort of a herald of misfortune. Like it or not, eh? Is that how it is? What do you say, Sir Knight? How about we go along with the Black Swordsman and pay visit to... Hanar? Who's Hanar? A dwarven craftsman skilled with his hands. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Made myself sneeze. Hmm. <laughs> Itchy nose, you itch the nose, you sneeze. Craftsman, skilled with his hands. It's his expertise that produced your armor, as well as Sir Knight's. You do well to listen to whatever he has to say. Very well, it will also be a chance to repair the armor. Hmm. Blow my nose. Is that... Yeah, totally. Relax and envision the broom sweeping the berries away. Good luck. I know how she feels seeing everyone flying. The first thing any magic user wants to do is to try it out. But serious, straight-laced kids aren't really cut out for that. Relax your shoulders. Typically, the first to fly are always the carefree, or those who get easily carried away, as barites find them unapproachable. It's still all I can do just to float a few inches off the ground. 
like you're a flower, pedal on the wind, empty your mind. Feels sort of like I'm floating. Uh, what? Hey, Morda, you can get the hang of this sort of thing, huh? Faster if you just take off for real. Oh, you can, if you just, like, ride with someone, you understand what it feels like. Stop whatever you, uh, stop doing whatever you please, Morda. Okay, keep your eyes open. I can't. You've flown as a luminous body, haven't you? What are you so scared of now? This is not the same thing. If I fall, I'll wind up dead. Look. <laughs> the wind feels nice. Flying on the wind has its own appeal. After all, it's halfway like a dream when you're, when you're a luminous body. So time for you to see what it can really feel like in full. <laughs> I like this character. Not to brag, but when it comes to broom handling, I'm the best on the island. Whenever those pedantic old men bore me to sleep with their lectures, I tear away like this. You give off a different vibe than the rest of the island's mages, Morda. A roguish, a bit roguish, more or less. Everybody holding hands and getting along isn't my cup of tea. But look at that. That's guts, and also... Where does this ravine lead? Where the island's strays hang out. No matter how bubbly and florid the island's queen is, there are some who don't vibe with that. They prefer semi-darkness to sunspots, like that spirit you summoned earlier. Hmm, okay. Incidentally, my mistress is among them. Why is your companion going with old Master Gedfring to a place like that? And there's that knight I've never seen. How about it? Doesn't it make you wonder? Let's go take a look. It's more like it. Huh. It certainly is different from Elfhelm up above. If anything, it's more like Cliffith. Lifoth? This is what attacked us. Wicker men. <laughs> and say long ago... And they say long ago when this land was attacked by a large nation on the continent, captured enemy soldiers were sacrificed and these were sent into battle. I suppose it was a disaster for you guys. But look, down here they're just giant rotten scarecrows. You gotta break out the old tools every now and then. Man, these last several volumes, like... I've been enjoying, like, pretty much every single chapter. Like, it's all good stuff. Weren't magic users originally so... I'd also like, like, where the story is going. Like, it really does feel like an epic. Um, like, different phases and arcs as well. Weren't magic users originally so feared as witches and sorcerers that people hesitated even to speak of them? Compared to that, the, that village is like a playground, as provincial as can be. You have so much energy, it's champing at the bit. One of my companions is that way. Wrong. I'm not bready like that at all. Stop. Oh. Mistress. It's you, Morda. You haven't come by at all lately. The island's had some visitors. I welcome them. So that's... Oh, she's the, like, the emo goth, you know, fun girl who hangs out with the rejects. I get it. So that's why you took out a wicker man without permission. How vexing. Um, get too angry and you'll have another dizzy spell. My mistress, Granny Vol. Um, who is oh, who, who is this? My mistress, Granny Vol. She's an expert with curses and necromancy. And the islanders call her old lady Volvaba. Volvaba. She's a textbook example of an old witch with a bad reputation. Who are you calling old? I am the apprentice of the flora of the spirit tree forest, and I came to this island a few days ago. My name is Shirk. Sorry to greet you from on high. Oh, you're Flora's, are you? you you're acquainted with my mistress? Did you happen to see old Master Gedfring and, the, and two knights? They were headed to the forest of stone just now. The forest of stone. Where the dwarves are. Uh, excuse me. Okay, then. Sorry to bother you, mistress. Can't you help out with the magic right now and then? Later, if I feel like. Pardon us. That no good apprentice. Maybe I'll curse her with a tail or something. Why don't you ever come to see me? But this is the first time I've ever seen her accompanied by somebody. Still, these visitors are connected to Flora of all people. Then there's that Skull Knight. This means this means the old men's dreamy nonsense is finally coming to pass. What does that mean? Wow. The uh, wait. Hold on. This means the old men's dreamy nonsense? Huh. Wow, the stone really is like a forest. It's Dark Souls. Dude, this is so Dark Souls. 
It's just straight Dark Souls. From here, I mean, obviously Dark Souls had been out by this point, but from here we walk. Dwarven dwellings are cramped and dark, and the dwarves are unreasonable and stubborn. It's too thick with barites in here. Flying gets totally exhausting. Well, this uh, well, this will tire me out anyway, since I don't usually use my legs. Ah, there they are. Sorry to bother you, Hanar. What does a mage want here in the bowels of the earth? Huh, I haven't seen that face in forever. The king, huh? Looks like you're still not resting in peace. That's my craftsmanship for you. Thanks to you, I'm in good health, friend. Good health, huh? <laughs> Says you inside a coffin. I'm getting some lore, yay. And then, <laughs> I thought I'd never get to see this again. And both at the same time to boot. Anar, as its creator, could you give the youngster a lecture on what it means to don this black armor? That ain't my style. <laughs> Wear it and figure it out for yourself. It's a lot of fun. But youngin, from the looks of things, you've been using that a heck of a lot. I've sidestepped death many times thanks to this. You have my thanks. Uh, no need for all that. You're the uh, you're its owner now. However, using it ain't necessarily the same as mastering it. In fact, that thing's liable to possess its owner for the sake of consuming him. Let's see. Might as well give it a go. Oh! Death vision? Uh-oh. That's bad. Oh, it hurts so much! Guts, well, what is that? Pipe down. Great guru, Shirk Morda. Don't take, uh, didn't take you long to skip my class. What is this? What did you do to Guts? They're gonna torture him? I figured I'd give him a look at the bloody memories died. I give, I figured I'd give him a look at the bloody memories died into this armor, <sighs> and how this thing consumed the life of its former owner. I'm so happy. I'm finally getting lore. Oh. Oh, is, oh, we're like it's the godhead down there. <laughs> is that another eclipse? Oh my gosh, am I getting the thing, the info that I finally wanted for so long? Oh. I I can't show this, but we got some different people here. Awesome. Awesome. I wish I could show this. This is great. Only one here that I know is void. The others, like, I don't know. How do you, like, not be in the Godhead anymore? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Guts. Looks like he's attuned to the memories. That's some serious strength. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yes. What, what does this mean, man? What happened? He just stopped like his chains, a uh, string snapped. Is it about time? And I'm also so happy that this is still... We still don't know what happened to the other four. That's so cool. That's so cool. So she like went through and like pulling it open, okay. Oh, come on. That's all we get? Oh, I want more. No, no, no. You're not half bad. You awake now? Shirk, thanks. I owe you one. Shirk, worst character. I'm sure just now. It end. What you just witnessed was the end of a once foolish king. And the beginning of a wraith wandering through an endless night. 
That's so awesome. That's so awesome. I am happy. Two chapters left. Is he the same as me? I'm sure of it. That was an eclipse. A mausoleum at the root of this spirit tree. His Majesty Sir Knight's former lover lies buried. Are you here this time to visit the grave of the Lady Maiden of the Cherry Blossom, Sir Knight? She looks like her. That moment I touched the armor, I saw her too. Danan is the very image of that woman. I am a harbinger of calamity, a ruin of love and hate. Forever bound for one place, I have no desire to bask in the afterglow of bygone days. Now let us be going, lest we intrude. Excuse me, great guru. Hmm? Exactly what sort of connection is there between my mistress and that skull knight? In her youth, your mistress Flora was one of the sorceresses who served the Lady Maiden. In those days, the two of them were quite attached. But those feelings were too strong. After that disastrous day, the black sun shone upon the world. But hold on. In her youth, your mistress Flora was one of the sorceresses who served the Lady Maiden. In those days, the two of them were quite attached, but those feelings were too strong. The asterisk, the black day, the black sun shone upon the world. My friend Flora violated a taboo. Huh. And hence she was banished from the village and left the island. Come on, all these interruptions for the, from the lore. I want to learn. You kidnapping delinquent girl. Wait, is this no time for that? Shirk, you gotta do something about the monkey. A Cedro? So what in the world is it? It's not as if Isidro's ever not up to something. At this rate, the village is doomed. There. No, untie me. I call it the Witch Pumpkin Bundle. Behold my skills. You finally decided to show up, Shirk. Okay. <laughs> Shirk, please do something about your companion. We came into the forest to gather medicinal herbs, and suddenly he jumped us. Just getting even for that beating you gave me. I'm a man who doesn't forget disgrace. I repay twofold violence to men and humiliation to women. <laughs> After that, that's a good line. After that long training journey and my crash course on this island, I finally come up with a killer, new killer technique, and I'm going to test it out on you. She'll get you like she always does. Again, with the immaturity, you truly never learn. It's because you've really put me through the ringer. You'll dance for me just like them, all silly and clumsy. Why is he like evil? We won't give in to a savage like you. Join forces against him. I'll block those dangerous mouths of yours. Elf shot, followed by... Stylish tie-off. If he's quick, like some beast. Oh, he's quick, like some beast. You see that? Super three-dimensional attack. In this nutty forest where I weigh less, nobody will be able to catch me. What is going on? This is a mood shift. We were getting some of the most awesome lore dump in the whole story. And and like a, three pages later, Isidro is putting sacks on girls. He's too well suited to this force. We can't control him. Don't just stand there watching. Help out a little. The only one left is you, Shirk. I'm gonna get to watch you scream and bawl. Why is he going crazy? Of course, what you'll be exposing is that kitty pumpkin underwear. Oh, I see. I understand what he's doing. I see what he's doing. I misunderstood. <laughs> Fine then, as your traveling companion, I'll brook... It's, it's Japan, dude. Oh my gosh. Even Kento is not immune. I'll brook no further wrongdoing. I'll assume the responsibility of getting rid of you. Oh wow, you are a riot. You're so flagrant that I have to respect it. It's just my wild nature. Gotcha. Whoop, think again. Today I'm an outlaw. I won't fall for that old trick. Hey, hey. You're way too slow to see through my after images. Uh, 
Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Why is it always a surprise, man? You never know when they're coming. Surprise boobs around every corner, I tell you. You guys playing tag? Looks like fun. Let me join, too. Hey, you. That's a Kelpie. It's dangerous. We just became friends and close. You're naked. I was swimming and I'm an elf. It's normal. That one's a friend, so don't eat him. You employed a Kelpie? That's incredible, Isma. Like I said, we're friends. Wow. Amazing. Tough place to live for nerds and girls, apparently. I'm glad you made so many witch friends, Shirk. Well, you know. Hey, Morda, where'd you fly off to with Shirk? Uh, yes. This is a paradise for us magic users. Sunshine at the end of our journey. Where they accept me the way I am. But in that case, where did my mis why did my mistress leave this island? What taboo did she violate? Great question. Wish we could have heard. You and Sir Knight seem to be well acquainted. It ain't like that. Well, I do owe him a few. But he's a bad luck skeleton who pops up wherever I'm headed and spouts off like he's some kind of prophet. He is not of this world. His state of mind differs from that of, of people. Only deep love and hate and endless fury are pushing him onward. Perhaps the reason he pays any attention to you at all is that he sees in you a reminder of how he once was. So cool that there's this, like, side character who's been kind of following Guts around and you have no idea who he is and come to find out it's just someone who went through, like, the same thing that Guts has gone through. And he's just kind of hanging around and watching stuff. Really interesting. I wonder how he's going to pertain in, like, the whole thing by the end. Well, I appreciate the advice. Uh, tenacity is my strong suit. I can't tell whether he's dead or alive. He has no right to criticize me. All the more reason to discern at the verge of death whether your fury will breathe life into you or consume you like hellfire. <clears throat> discern? Verge of death? That's all dandy, but on this breezy island, I've got nothing to do but take naps and swing this around. Ooh, Moon Town. Welcome to Moon Town. Uh oh. Penis. Final Kento. Um, Miura. Final Miura chapter, ladies and gentlemen. And the final chapter we will read for at least a year. You, how come you're here? Hey. Guts? We were just about to eat. Where did he... Found him out there. Uh. <laughs> There's a little bit of butt on here, so I'm not going to show it. You found him? He appears. Oh, still alive, Shorty. Oh, we saw you at my island. Did you swim here? Maybe he was stowed away. If he's here on this island, then he really must be... You must be the flower store monarch, Danan. What? Huh? You took on that form and showed up where we went to watch over us on our journey. Is that true? Yes. Oh yeah, really? What would you know, you layman? <laughs> I understand you wanting to mingle with the youngsters, but you can go too far uh, in making yourself look young, Granny. Whom do you mean by Granny? Oh, how adorable. Who is this? Uh, you don't... Uh, don't you know this boy, Danan? He isn't from this island. You got it... Uh, you got it wrong. It's okay, Shirk. You looked pretty smug on the ship, too, when you gave that opinion of yours. Is this payback for earlier? So petty. You two dimwits fail on sh at showing off all the time. Do me a favor. Take him upstairs so he can go see Casca. All right. Huh. What are you doing here? You remember him, Casca? Yes, I remember this boy who shows up on nights with a full moon. Full moon? Yes. During our journey, he'd suddenly appear before us on such nights, then disappear come morning. As usual, he sticks to Casca like glue. I was convinced that the elf ru ru 
that the elf ruler that it was you visiting in his form in order to evaluate us. It's true that I was informed regarding your uh, that I was informed regarding your journey, but that was by way of your f teacher Flora's dream oracles by my mistress. I did also hear about the events during the full moons, so this boy is the one. It's no wonder you had the wrong idea. That boy is no mere child of man. The odd of innocence surrounding him is very similar to that of us elves. The fact that he was able to reach this island, that's proof of no ill intent. He arrived here because the island's affinity guided him. The island's affinity? And when I say the island, that includes its inhabitants. In this case, the three of you, Shirk, Farnis, and Casca. Us? Ob you are obviously a magic user. Farnis wore my old clothes, and Casca wore elven hunting garb. Thus, you three were able to become inhabitants of a sort here. Above all, everyone accepts the three of you. We've been accepted. And so your bond with this child led him here. He seems to have especially strong ties with Casca. And him. Morning. Good morning. That was a good morning workout. What gives? It's morning and you didn't vanish this time. Indeed. Well, time flows sort of uniquely here on the island. Here you go, freshly baked bread. You're practically the neighborhood to caretaker. For a few days here at least, it'll still be the night of a full moon in the outside world. Maybe he'll get to be with you for a while. Hmm, okay. Isn't that great, Casca? Yeah. Such an ordinary child. Mm-hmm. Who knows what his story is, but I can't sense even an ounce of malice from the child. The elves aren't wary either. My nose is so itchy. Wary, uh, see? Hold on. I'm gonna blow it. For now, let's keep a close watch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, like the one time I'm like, it's okay. There won't be any na naked people on the next screen. Why would there be? Mm. Come on. Fishing. Riding on the back of the thing. How peaceful, yes. It was true before, too, but those two fit uh, so well together, like an actual mother and child. I'm sure being with him will help heal the wound in Casca's heart, for that matter, with all of us living under the same roof like this. We already seem like one big family. A family. But. I guess I still can't manage without this. You. <laughs> You're the berserker now. Uh, hey. Here. What do you think you... What, what do you think... What, you think you're a knight? What is with you, anyway? It's snack time. Come on out. Father-son bonding time. Go spend time with her. Being like this feels completely natural. That moonlit beach where I first met him? No, I knew him from even before that as Elaine. I remember the sense of nostalgia then. Affection, sadness. But from where? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. She remembers. She re <coughs> remembers. <clears throat> Casca, I was dreaming. On the nights of the full moon, I'd become a small child and find myself embraced by nostalgic warmth. But when I wake from the dream, all that remains is a faint sense of loneliness. That too soon fades away, along with a single tear like morning dew. That's the last panel, isn't it? Nice. Well done. What a monumental thing to have made. My gosh. Also really nice to put that right at the end there. That's cool. 
Thank you so much for enjoying Berserk and for giving it your ongoing support. Tears of the Morning Dew. Final installment printed in volume 41. Last uh, manuscript that Kentaro Miura personally inked before his death. The members of Studio Gaga, who for many years have created Berserk alongside Mr. Miura, work to their utmost to complete that manuscript, resulting in the publication of this manga volume. With so many pieces of information still pending, blah, 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 blah. Um, da, 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 da. Finally, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so this, so they, he didn't finish that chapter, but they finished it for him. Okay. Hmm. That is it. Cool. Cool. I don't seem too shocked to see Griffith in the island. Well, I knew that the last image was of Griffith. Um, and they were on the island, and I was like, it's, he's got to show up sometime. Uh, I don't know why he's there. It's kind of bizarre. What a, what a way to leave things out, right? But, um, all right, cool. So let me timestamp this. And that is that for... For berserk for a little while man thoughts thoughts on the whole series it's a it's a freaking masterpiece man i didn't know how i would feel going into it uh like it being like sword and sorcery and like fantasy and it's like oh but it inspired dark souls it's like I, I didn't know i didn't know what to think um going in but like i have been pleasantly surprised at how how deft it is. It's like, it's just one of those really good quintessential stories that could only come from Japan, you know? Um, and it takes notes from other things, but it's also just like so trailblazing and does so many unique things. Um, and I can see it like reflected in so much other animated media um, or manga even. It's like, uh, for I remember I, I first I saw Avatar, loved Avatar. Then I saw Full Metal, and I was like, oh, Avatar actually kind of takes a lot from Full Metal. And then going through Berserk, I'm like, no, wait, hold on. Full Metal took from Berserk, too. It's like, it just, it's all the way down, and like, Berserk is kind of like the bedrock of manga in a lot of ways. Um, but yeah, fantastic stuff. Fantastic. Griffith becomes the child. Oh! Is that what it is? Is that what that means? Griffith becomes the child of Casca and Guts in the full moon. What does that imply? <laughs> what? That's strange. What does that mean? I don't know, but um, yeah, eager to dive into the lore, learn more about all this stuff, things I may have missed, uh, theories, speculations, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, fantastic series. I don't know if I'm going to replace this with any other like live readings yet. Um, there's like maybe other stuff I could do, but I don't know about like copyright. And I was thinking of doing like Watchmen, but I don't see any of that on YouTube. Um, and so I don't know how popular that is to do or if it's even like legal. And in some ways I might get in trouble. So I don't know. But for the time being, live readings are done. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, everybody who joined on this little adventure and we'll just gonna keep our eyes and eyes and ears peeled for more berserk content coming down the pipe because uh, the story is not done thank the lord anyway that's all i got thank you everybody for watching tuning in until next time take care fairly well and godspeed Thank you.